A Little Rock City Council candidate recovering tonight after she was caught in the crossfire over the weekend. City leaders say it's just another example of how gun violence impacts the entire city. Loretta Hendricks is the daughter of Irma Hendricks, a longtime city council member who died last year. Our Andrew Epperson is live in Little Rock. And Andrew, how are leaders reacting to this? Yeah, they're showing concern for Loretta Hendricks, who you just talked about there, Laura. Now, police report shows she was struck in the leg when she was caught in crossfire. Friends say she's now recovering, but city leaders say this just goes to show something like this can happen anywhere and to anyone. Kind of shocked and, and angry and um, obviously frustrated. These were Little Rock City Director Ken Richardson's emotions when he learned City Council candidate Loretta Hendricks was shot over the weekend. He thought that it was a result of some crossfire, some random gunfire, I don't know. A police report shows Hendricks was driving Saturday night when there was a shootout between two groups near 15th Street. She was shot in the leg, though police say she was not the target. I spoke with her. She was um, saying that she was trying to figure it out and trying to process. Hendricks didn't respond to phone calls and text messages asking for comment. That was a long Thank you, Director Richardson. Richardson says she's doing well. And before Tuesday's city council meeting, he said people need to be aware of what's happening around them. We need to make sure we're covering ourselves, we take cover, and we're safe and secure. Because uh, anything comes up, it's going to have to come down somewhere. After Irma Hendricks died last year, Virgil Miller took over that city council seat. He's still there now, and he plans to run for re-election as well. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, KARK, 4 News.